Shalom Ya Sharala. First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rechaha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Double salutations to the Akim out there spreading this word in truth and sincerity. Shalom to the few Aquathium that be listening in today. And back at you have another lesson entitled A man shall be a hiding place from the wind. Now what's this wind talking about? The wind is talking about destruction. Because we know that a time of great woes, tribulation and destruction is coming upon the face of the earth. Okay. And there's going to be a, a remnant, a select few men that have the true wisdom, knowledge and understanding of the scriptures who, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai, will not only be able to defend themselves, but also to be a, 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 a rock, a shield or a, 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 a place of protection for the hopeful elect ladies or women, shall I say. Right? Because you know, we're, we're, we're heading into a time where we believe that divine intervention is going to be taking place. Certain brothers are going to receive spiritual power. Angels are going to intervene on our behalf. You know, Lord willing, we be of that number, man. Okay, so, so these, these, these are the things that's getting ready to happen on the face of the earth, man. You know, Esau, Edom, he's showing us what he can do on the left hand side. Well, you know, the Heavenly Father is about to lift up a standard against him, man. Okay? Through his men. Through his elect. Right? So without further ado, let's bring the precepts out, man. Let's start here in Ezekiel 7 and 5. And I bring this out quite a bit, I know. But then again, these are the times we're heading into. You know, um, repetition is key. Okay, and ultimately, you know, uh, it needs to be consolidated within your mind, you know, so that so that when these times happen, you you know and understand that this is prophecy, and this is this is of the Lord. All right. So Ezekiel seven and five, and it reads, "Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, an evil and only evil, behold, is come." All right, bad times are coming, and that's all that's coming, man. Every day you open your eyes, you go on the news, wherever, man. Uh, the situation, the global situation of the world, is just getting worse. Every single day, all right. Every day we're one step closer to the MOTB being implemented. Okay, and evil, and only evil, behold, is come. An end is come. The end is come, right? The end of Esau Edom's age. His, the end of Esau Edom's rulership, who's the so-called white man. All right? It says in, um, what does it say? It says in 2nd uh, Ezra 6 and 9, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. All right? Because right after this kingdom is destroyed, the kingdom of Israel, beginning with Yahweh Shai, is getting ready to be erected, man. Okay. That's what's on the rise right now. Okay. Starting with uh, um, um, this word, this gospel, man. All right. It's bringing forth uh, the kingdom of heaven. All right. How powerful is that? Just by us going out and doing the work, going on the highways and the byways, doing, uh, 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 you know, the sit downs on the YouTube and the various streaming platforms. We are actually having our hand in bringing forth the kingdom of heaven, of course, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai, who has given us his spirit to be able to, to understand the scriptures, to teach it, okay? Um, let's jump down to verse 25, and it reads, Destruction cometh, they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. So you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna find no peace, man, okay? Great hell 
is getting ready to, to, to befall the planet Earth. A great time of, of woe, suffering, judgment, calamities, tribulation, famine. Okay? All of these are sent as scourges for amendment, man. And still the people won't turn from their wickedness. That's me roughly quoting Second Ezra 16. Okay? Uh, Ezekiel 7 and 26. Mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumour shall be upon rumour. Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish from the priest and the counsel from the ancient. So yeah, man, you're going to try and run to your pastors, those you thought had the truth, and, and, and they ain't going to have the answers for you, man. <coughs> Excuse me. Then you're going to remember how you bumped into the true prophets. Okay. Uh, but, but you know, you perceived them to be bums They was wearing raggedy clothing or whatever, man You just didn't really like what they had to say Okay, but, but hey, man Ezekiel 33 and 33 says Then shall they know that a prophet has been among them Alright, so when these people are neck deep in calamities You know, when all hope is lost And, 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 and you know Esau Edom is doing his thing in full swing they're going to know that, well, actually, there was men out there that prophesied of these times, okay? That prophesied of these, these very things we're going through right now. And guess what? We didn't hearken, man. Let's quickly bring out, um, what's that? Jeremiah chapter 28 and verse 8. And it reads, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence and we're coming in the same manner man you know first corinthians 14 says how um the spirit of the prophets are subject unto the prophets so the, the those same ancient prophets from back then some of them are walking amongst us right now doing the exact same thing they did in their past lives man preaching the downfall and destruction of this current wicked society okay that's, that's, that's what's getting ready to happen, man. Okay? And, and, and whilst this is going on, you got people, you got mainly our people in La La Land. You know, Esau, he's kind of got the hint. He kind of knows what time it is. So, you know, you got your doomsday preppers, all right? Prepping for, 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 the, for the end days, for when SHTF, which means for when shit hits the fan. You know, you got your doomsday preppers, man. But what, what, what's Jake doing? Jake is, uh, you know, can't can't get enough Jordans. You know, J Jake is too worried about his swagger. You know, uh, uh, the next girl he's gonna be seeing, right? Football, basketball, video games, FIFA, Call of Duty, whatever, man. J Jake is 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 through. Jake is just not with it, man. Jake is completely distracted. Has no idea what's going on, man. You know, Jake is exactly where Esau Edom wants, wants them to be. All right. But, you know, scriptures say how we are not ignorant of Satan's devices. And it says, and if it were possible, he would deceive the very elect. All right. But it's not possible for, for Esau to deceive the very elect, man. God damn. It's a lucky. I don't know if you just heard that car stall in the background. But anyways, man, let's go to... Uh, the book of Matthew. You no, know, Lord willing, this be edifying, man. All right, this is Matthew chapter twenty-four, in verse twenty-one, and it reads: "For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be." So you see, you need to understand, man. Not only are we heading into some very bad times we are actually heading into the worst time in history man whilst you've got two thirds that are asleep man you know fully uh, uh engrossed in, in 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 the darkness of this world i'm repenting you know they don't want to seek the truth they don't want to hear the truth man all right they they don't want nothing to do with the truth anything you how about shimmy al shai they say no they say no, we ain't subscribing to that man. Until it's too late for them, man, but it is where it is. Okay, it is where it is, man. For many are called, but few are chosen, right? 
uh, verse 22 And except those days should be shortened There should no flesh be saved But for the elect's sake Those days shall be shortened Yeah I mean look how fast The recent years have been going man Especially uh, Since the, the You know the, the, the pandemic You know 2020 man These past three years Have been flying by man These past three years have been flying Okay And it's getting faster and faster man Because the days are being shortened For the elect's sake man So this is how you know that the Lord has a remnant Indeed a remnant that he uh, uh, That he cares about man Alright all, all, all the suffering and hell And calamity that's going on Around the world is happening for the elect's sake Man to bring forth the kingdom Of heaven ultimately Alright this is the love that the Lord Has for his remnant Okay Let's back this precept up With Daniel 12 and 1 It's only right And at that time shall Michael stand up The great prince which standeth for the children of thy people Alright, Michael's a very uh, Great archangel in the heavens, man And he's uh, very He's known for war Alright That's his speciality uh, Reading on And there shall be a time of trouble Such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time Yeah, so this time that's fastly approaching Is again the worst time in human history, man When you got Jake just, just you know, having an Israelite party You know, doing up barbecues and this, that and the other Not to say you can't do barbecues like you can Of course there's a balance to it But I mean, that's solely their focus, man It's just being in that mirth spirit, you know and until until they become the barbecue man, you know they they get invited to the biggest cookout on earth man, which is going to be uh, 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 ultimately the landmass of America being on fire man completely. That's the ultimate barbecue, right? Let's read it again. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a, a nation even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone. That shall be found written in the book Now, who are the ones that's going to be written in the book? The elect of the nation of Israel, man Alright, the 144,000 men Which are the prophets Followed by the great multitude, the one third Which consists of uh, men, women and children Who believed wholeheartedly in the doctrine of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahashai Alright You know, Revelation 7 talks about that great multitude Okay, so it's not just the 144,000 Alright, just to clarify Alright, but, but the elect are written in the book of life, man And the Lord is going to uh, uh, fight for his elect, you know It says in Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9 that He hath care for his elect Okay, and we, we, we're seeing that now And in and, and, and the time of Jacob's trouble, we're going to see that even more, man Okay, we just have to have faith You know, Hebrews 11 It is impossible to please him without faith, man So we have to have that 144% faith In Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahashai That not only is he going to bring these things On the planet Earth But he's also going to deliver us Who are willing we be of the elect From there, let's go to Isaiah 33 and 6 Okay In which it reads And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Yeah, man. So who is the one? Who are the ones that are gonna have the wisdom and knowledge, man, so that they're able to be stable in these times? That's gonna be the elect men. Okay. Those that subscribe to the doctrine of Yahweh Ba Shimia Shai. Okay. And this is why a man is gonna be a hiding place from the wind, because whilst all Death, destruction, woes is happening You're going to have the elect Men in a completely different spirit, man Completely different spirit Okay, there, you know uh, uh, Let's bring out Job 5 real quick This is the book of Job, chapter 5 And verse 22 At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh Neither shalt thou be afraid Of the beast of the earth So now you've got to ask yourself What kind of spirit Are you going to have to be in to be laughing at destruction and famine, man 
You're seeing people dying in all sorts of heinous ways. You're seeing calamities and people going through all sorts of different hell, man. And you're going to be here laughing, man. What kind of spirit are you going to be in, man? But that's the spirit that the elect are going to be in, man. It says, at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh, man. We ain't going to be feeling sorry for these people when the Lord comes and rains down his judgment, man. Because the word has been going out for long enough and the people don't want to hearken. So now they have to... They've made their bed pretty much And now they've got to lay in it man Okay <laughs> Proverbs 1 also talks about How the Lord is going to laugh at your calamity And mock when your fear cometh man And while, what's one of the ways the Lord is going to do that He's going to be laughing through his men Through his prophets Who endured with all hardness Teaching this word And having the, the scoffers Coming against them And Things of that nature, man. Teaching in, in all different elements. So on and so forth, man. Alright? We're going to be, Lord willing, of the elect. We're going to be laughing at, um, at um, uh, you know, the two-thirds of the nation of Israel. That were unrepenting. And these heathens, man. Okay? Let's go to Isaiah chapter 13. In verse 12 and it reads I will make a man more precious than fine gold Even a man more precious than the golden wedge of Ophir Yeah man So the elect men are, are, are being prepared right now Being tried like that gold in the fire man um, Being tried like that gold in the fire Up until perfection And uh, the Lord is gonna You know Use his elect men as, as part of his arsenal man His weaponry Jeremiah 51 and 20 Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war man Okay And you know I, I've been I've been quoting that a lot recently but, but let's just get it man For edification's sake Let's just go ahead and get it man Jeremiah 51 And uh, this is verse 20 And it reads Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war For with thee will I break in pieces the nations And with thee will I destroy kingdoms Alright And and because the Lord is going to raise up his elect With that spiritual power man So they're going to have all sorts of You know uh, all, all, uh, all kind of power To be able to uh, 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 Bring this into fruition man You know the Lord is going to make His creature uh, uh, um, um, the weapon man His weapon Okay Let's further back this up You know you can continue reading on in Jeremiah 51 But that pretty much hits the hay Hits the nail on the head uh, Let's I ain't brought this out in a little while actually Let's get Isaiah 40 first This is Isaiah chapter 40 And verse 28 And it reads Has thou not known Hast thou not heard that the everlasting power, the Lord, Yahweh, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. And you can't understand the mind of the Lord, man. All you can possibly do is just submit to his will. Okay, which you do regardless anyway, man. Man's goings are of the Lord, right? Reading on, verse 29, he giveth power to the faint. And you know uh, uh, the Israelites We're likened unto being faint right now man We ain't got no power in our hands You know we've got our enemies ruling over us Alright you know it, We're in a dire situation right now man It would seem like all hope is lost right Okay And to them that have no might He increase of strength and That's what's getting ready to happen With the elect Okay, he's going to bestow some of his men with spiritual power And they're going to be able to defend themselves against Esau, Edom All through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai Alright and, and all of that, you know, is going to be to glorify his name And it's not going to be for our vain glory It's going to be to glorify the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai Okay uh, Verse 30 Even the youth the youth shall faint and be weary And the young men shall utterly fall But they that wait upon the Lord Shall renew their strength They shall mount up with wings as eagles So we're going to be able to fly They shall run and not be weary And they shall walk and not faint but We're going to have that That, that uh, on us man 
which when you go into the word spirit in the blue letter, of course the word is racha, it says uh, it has a few definitions, and one of them is a warlike energy. When Samson slew a thousand men with the jawbone of an ass, which is a donkey, he had the racha kodash on him, man, which imparted that warlike energy onto him, and 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 the elect men are going to be in that same fashion. Okay, let's get another one. Isaiah 40, next door neighbor. And uh, verse four, Isaiah 41 and verse 14. And it reads, Fear not thy worm, Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee a, sh a, a, a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. All right? Having power, man. You know, like 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 people liken the bullets onto teeth when they when they talk about guns. They're like, oh, has it got teeth? Talking about the bullets. Well, hey man, we're gonna have a whole new kind of teeth, man. You know, brothers are gonna be able to have like straight concentrated fire, laser beams coming out their eyes, and man, way more than we can even imagine, man. Way more than what you see in the Marvels uh, films, man. So I ain't even gonna, you know. God damn, like we 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 don't we have no idea, man. You know the the the, the amount of blessings that's going to be bestowed upon us as Israelites, and you know, Lord willing, we're of the elect, man, because it's gonna those blessings are gonna start with the elect first and foremost, and the two thirds once they uh, uh, they die on this side, and they're brought back in the kingdom via the loins of the elect. Okay. Uh, thou shalt thresh the mountains, and you know. Uh, just talking about governments, okay? But we're going to beat these governments, man. As it's going to say, Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small and shall make the hills as chaff. So the hills representing the smaller governments. You know, we're going to have our hand in destroying our enemies, man. You know, Lord willing, we'll be of that number. Okay? Uh, thou shalt fan them and the wind shall carry them away and the whirlwind shall scatter them. You know, go into them chariots. Thou shalt rejoice in the Lord And shall glory in the Holy One of Israel Yeah We're going to be glorying in the Holy One of Israel man Alright Which is Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai. Okay When we see that we're raised up with that spiritual power You know We're able to uh, Defend ourselves Against our enemies When we see that the Lord has lifted up that standard against our enemies yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be praising the Lord in that day, man. And also on the other hand, you women are gonna get in line, man. You women are gonna get in order because you're gonna realize you're defenseless, you're powerless, and 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 you need a man of the Lord to survive, man. So you you you, you stubborn ass Israelite women, you, you ain't gonna have a bone to pick in that day, man. Oh, I, well, I just think that I just think that. No, 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 no. Listen, man. You either. Uh, 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 Take heed So whatever instruction Your man or your husband is telling you You, you know, your husband Gives you or, 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 you know You get to step in, man You know, you, you get to die a brutal death But all of that Oh, yeah All of that uh, entitled bullshit, man that, 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 That's getting ready to come to an end Okay You either submit or you die Okay, that's going to be the sentiment For you women in these last days, man You submit to um, uh, whatever man of the Lord The Lord has appointed you with Or you die Simple as And you don't just get to die You die in, in, in some of the worst ways imaginable man A lot a lot of Let's put it this way A lot of men Are going to have their way With women in these last days man And I'm going to leave it at that Okay Let me bring out my final precept Which is in Isaiah This is uh, The book of Isaiah 32 in verse 2 and it reads And a man shall be as an hiding place from the wind And a covert from the tempest The violent storm Right As rivers of water in a dry place As the shadow of a great rock in a weary land So yeah man That, that, that elect man of the Lord Is going to be your, 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 uh, uh, your protection man As women You know your, That's going to be your ticket Out of here Out of this uh, uh, Um the, you know The calamities And the tribulations That's fastly approaching man by, by By you know Being with a man of the Lord Okay 
Because otherwise, man, the, these men out here are going to have their way with you. And, and hey, because uh, the majority of the two thirds are women. Because st- st- statistically speaking, there's more women out here than men. All right. So it would make sense that the majority of two thirds would be you women, man. OK, so, yeah, I just wanted to touch on that real quick, man. You know, I pray this lesson was edifying. Until the next time I say Shalom.